The discovery of the sleep-wake system has enabled us to identify the true causes of Alzheimer's disease and to explain its symptoms. From now on, it will be possible to prevent this terrible disease, to halt its development and to restore mental functions. Alzheimer's is an age-linked neurodegenerative disease of the brain tissue, which causes the loss of mental functions and affects the memory in particular. It is caused by a collapse in pineal secretions of the three hormones which make up the sleep-wake system. The disease was first highlighted by the German doctor Alois Alzheimer in 1907. He identified the presence of two types of lesions in the brain, senile plaques composed of beta amyloid proteins and degenerative neurofibrillary tangles composed of tau proteins. The sleep-wake system, which regulates the body's functions, is composed of three hormones, which are secreted by the pineal gland during the night. Melatonin, or MLT, is the neuroprotective hormone. It protects the neurons from the destructive action of oxygenated free radicals. 6-methoxyharmalin, or 6-MH, has extremely high psychostimulant properties, comparable to those of LSD. It is the wake and cognition hormone and can be described as the daytime hormone. Valentonin, or VLT, is the true sleep hormone. It is the nighttime hormone. The secretion of the three sleep-wake system hormones by the pineal gland is controlled by the suprachiasmatic nucleus. At bedtime, it triggers the secretion of these three hormones by the pineal gland for a period of eight hours. For a person who customarily goes to bed at 10 p.m., the suprachiasmatic nucleus triggers the secretion of the three hormones via the nervous system for a period of eight hours. In our example, pineal secretion will end at 6 a.m. In any case, secretion of the three hormones by the pineal gland will last for eight hours, whatever the season, the period of the year, or the length of the night. In the pineal gland, the biosynthesis of the three hormones from serotonin is undertaken in three successive acetylation stages through the action of a single enzyme, N-acetyltransferase, or NAT. Melatonin being an intermediate stage in this cascade of biochemical reactions, the measurement of its concentration in blood plasma can be used as a marker for the secretion of the three pineal hormones, and therefore indicates the status of the sleep-wake system. As their biosynthesis within the pineal gland gradually progresses, the three hormones are released into the bloodstream. They are distributed throughout the body and reach their activity sites. The following shows the progression in the plasmatic concentrations of the three hormones during a 24-hour period. Two periods can be identified. A secretion period for the three hormones from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m., during which the body is in sleep mode, as the concentrations of valentonin in the body are higher than those of 6 mh. A second period during which the secretion of the three pineal hormones decreases, between 6 a.m. until 10 p.m., from 6 a.m. at the end of the pineal secretion phase, melatonin and valentonin are rapidly eliminated. At this point, the prevalence of 6-MH puts the body into wake mode, which lasts until 10 p.m. Once distributed throughout the tissues of the body, the three pineal hormones undertake their actions of cellular protection and the regulation of the body's psychological and physiological activities. During the rest period, the secreted melatonin eliminates the oxygenated free radicals present in all the tissues of the body. These free radicals are produced by breathing. Two main examples of these free radicals are the superoxide anion O2- radical and the hydroxyl HO radical. These are oxygenated compounds with one single electron. They're extremely reactive and lead to the gradual destruction of the body's cells and the neurons in particular. Thanks to its powerful reductive properties via the carbon atom located in position 2, the melatonin traps these free radicals by transforming itself into 2-oxomelatonin, which is consequently eliminated in the blood. The distribution of melatonin in brain tissue from 10 p.m. traps the oxygenated free radicals that have accumulated during the activity period. 
Simultaneously, these free radicals are reduced and the melatonin is oxidized into 2-oxo-melatonin, which is consequently eliminated in the blood. At 6 a.m., as pineal secretion ends, nerve tissues are purified via this process. Meanwhile, valentonin and 6-methoxyharmalin reach their sites of action and in turn regulate the body's psychological and physiological activities. By selectively modulating the responses of a few receptors of the seven main neurotransmitters, and by modulating the secretions of the seven endocrine glands of the body, in this way, the pineal gland controls the functions of the endocrine glands. As with the theory of yin and yang, valentonin and 6 methoxyharmalin have opposite effects. The regulation of vigilance, blood pressure and muscle tonus are the result of the opposite actions of valentonin and 6 methoxyharmalin on the serotonergic 5-HT2C receptors, the noradrenergic alpha-2 receptors and the dopaminergic D1 and D2 receptors. Between 10 p.m. and 6 a.m., valentonin lowers vigilance levels through the allosteric activation of serotonergic 5-HT2C receptors which maintains the sleep status of our sample subject. Valentonin lowers the blood pressure and heart rate through the activation of noradrenergic alpha-2 receptors. Valentonin triggers muscular relaxation through the activation of dopaminergic D1 and D2 receptors. Inversely, between 6 a.m. and 10 p.m., the 6-MH increases vigilance by the antagonism of the serotonergic 5-HT2C receptors, which produces the effect of maintaining the state of wakefulness. 6-MH increases the blood pressure and heart rate by the antagonism of the noradrenergic alpha-2 receptors. 6-MH provokes muscular contraction by the antagonism of dopaminergic D1 and D2 receptors. Neuron protection from oxygenated free radicals and body functioning during 24 hours depends on how much of the three hormones the pineal gland secretes. As we have just seen, melatonin is a quantitative marker of this secretion. In practice, to ascertain the level of pineal secretion, the concentration of melatonin in the subject's blood plasma should be measured from 1 a.m. During a 24-hour period, we measured the pineal secretions of melatonin in 12 younger and 12 older subjects. There were considerable variations in pineal secretion levels between the various individuals. We observed a factor of 13 between the extremes of pineal secretions among the older subjects. On average, pineal secretion of melatonin declines with age. However, the record for the highest level of melatonin was found in a 73-year-old subject with a maximum plasma concentration of melatonin of 124.7 picograms per milliliter. Spectacular differences in pineal secretions may therefore occur among humans. Using melatonin levels as markers, we can consider pineal secretions as normal between 20 and 200, with an average value of 50 in a healthy young adult. Pineal secretion is excessive in psychotic subjects, with a marker probably higher than 200. Sleep disorders appear when the marker falls below 10. Subjects with a low level of pineal secretion suffer from sleep disorders and are particularly at risk of neurodegenerative diseases such as Parkinson's and Alzheimer's. As they grow older, they become victims of these diseases once their melatonin levels drop to below 5 picograms per milliliter of plasma. The collapse of pineal secretions is completely correlated with the symptoms of Alzheimer's disease. Given the absence of melatonin, the oxygenated free radicals produced during the activity period are no longer eliminated during the night. This therefore results in the gradual destruction of the neurons, which is illustrated by the presence of an increasing number of senile plaques and degenerative neurofibrillary tangles. 
As the disease evolves, we can observe a collapse in the secretion of all three pineal hormones. The transmission of nerve impulses in the surviving neurons is no longer sufficiently modulated by the valentonin and the 6-methoxyharmalin. This is also the case for the surviving serotonergic 5-HT2C neurons, which are involved in the regulation of vigilance. The lack of valentonin during the rest period provides us with the explanation for both sleep and memory disorders. While the lack of 6-MH during the wake period explains cognitive impairments and, to a more general extent, the loss of mental functions. An evaluation of the pineal gland's endocrine functions should be carried out from the age of 60 onwards. The detection of a marker showing an abnormally low level, less than 5, would provide a warning sign and enable a course of treatment to be implemented. Prior to the discovery of the sleep-wake system, the complete lack of understanding of the causes of Alzheimer's disease meant that until now, no significant treatments had been found to deal with it. Since Alzheimer's disease is caused by an important deficit in the secretory functions of the pineal gland, the only possible treatment is a hormone replacement therapy by the administration of the three hormones. They must therefore be administered during the pineal gland secretion period, that is, during the night. The melatonin should be administered orally at night, at bedtime, in a 3 mg dose. This dose appears sufficient to us in order to guarantee the elimination of the oxygenated free radicals during the night. The valentonin and 6-methoxyharmalin must be administered in a combination during the rest period, which lasts approximately 8 hours. Administration methods are extremely critical. They must be capable of reproducing as precisely as possible the physiological secretion curves of the two hormones. In practice, the only solution is transdermal administration, in the form of a patch with two reservoirs associating valentonin and 6-methoxyharmalin with a dose ratio of 4 to 1 in order to fulfill these conditions. The patch should be applied at night, at bedtime, and should be removed in the morning upon rising. This ensures that the sleep and wake modes are respected. Hormone replacement therapy using natural hormones in order to compensate for the deficiency in pineal secretion. This is administered during the secretion period of 8 hours, with doses of 100 micrograms of 6-methoxyharmalin and 400 micrograms of valentonin, which corresponds to the physiological secretion. This treatment guarantees no adverse side effects. If the disease is treated early enough, patients should recover a normal sleep pattern and memory levels and all of their mental functions. Given the precise roles played by valentonin and 6-methoxyharmalin in body functions, we can legitimately claim that no other treatment for Alzheimer's disease can be considered.